Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sindhura Koganti, consultant pulmonologist and sleep medicine specialist, lung transplant physician working at Fortis Vadapalni. Today I am here to talk about what is second wave of COVID. Is it to be considered seriously? COVID second wave is to be considered very seriously. We don't want to repeat the uh, effect or the impact of the first wave which we have seen, which had lost, which many of them have lost their life. So we don't want to repeat it again and we should be very careful. The most common things which you have to follow to prevent the spread of infection first is mask. Definitely you have to wear your mask. It should be covering your nose and mouth completely. It is not to be placed half down or to your neck. It should be covering the nose and the mouth completely. The second most important thing is you should frequently wash your hands so that all the infected hands you don't keep near your nose, mouth or into the eyes which are the, again the source of spread of infection. And the next most important thing is you have to maintain social distancing. Minimum of at least 3 feet distance is to be maintained that is about 100 meters, uh, 1 meter or 100 centimeters distance should be maintained to avoid the spread of the virus from person to person. The virus is not mobile or it doesn't move. You are the person who makes the virus to move from one place to another. So avoid, move, avoid going to the places or avoid visiting your friends or family at their home or anywhere and avoid having uh, large social gatherings. Avoid going to the malls or uh, movie theaters so that the overcrowded places are the main source of spreading the infection. So the next most important thing is to have healthy food which is rich in antioxidants and high in proteins which helps to boost up your immunity levels and uh, helps to avoid infection. In case of uh, sneezing or coughing, symptomatic patients should uh, sneeze in or cough into their bent elbows. To a larger extent you can spread, you avoid the spread of infection into the air or onto the surfaces. Avoid traveling in the public transports. If you have to go to your workplace in the public transport, wear a mask and do not touch the surfaces while traveling. Once you reach the office, try to wash your hands with water and soap before you get back into your work. And the last but most important thing which you have to do to prevent the severe infection is vaccination. Everyone who are having comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension or those on immunosuppressants having cardiac issues, renal transplant, all of the high risk patients are advised to take vaccination, two doses of vaccination at 28 days of apart, which can avoid them from getting severe infection. Thank you.